particular element X can be found in a compound with chlorine in the form of XCL2 as well as XCL4. And that treatment of 10 grams of XCL2 with excess chlorine gas is going to form 12.55 grams of XCL4. Identify element X and support your answer with calculations. So what we'll do to start is we'll work out what the actual equation is based on the information that's given. So if XCL2 is reacted with excess chlorine gas, which is Cl2, so we're not sure what exactly what state the XCL2 is, and we're not exactly sure what the state of XCL4 is, but we do know that this is going to be what the equation is. Chlorine gas reacts with XCL2 to form XCL4. We know because of law of definite composition, the difference in the mass, 12.55 and 10 grams, must be equivalent to the amount of chlorine gas that was involved in the reaction. That means the mass of Cl2 has to equal to 12.55 minus 10.00 equals to 2.55. The number of moles, therefore, of Cl2 is equal to 2.55 divided by 35.45 multiplied by 2, and that equals to 0 0.0. 360 moles. From here, we know that according to the stoichiometric ratio of our equation, the N of CO2 equals to the N of XCO2, which equals to 0 0.0360. The molar mass of XCO2 is therefore equal to 10 divided by 0 0.0360, and that is equal to 278.04 grams per mole. Therefore, the molar mass of X has to be equal to 278.04 minus 35.45 times 2, and that equals to 207.1 grams. Now, looking at the periodic table, we know that element X is going to be equal to lead, and that's because it has the closest molar mass to 207.1 grams. 4 grams of an alkali earth metal containing ionic compound is required to fully react with 0 0.0800 moles of nitric acid. The reaction between these two species produces carbon dioxide gas. Identify the formula of the compound and calculate its molar mass. So in order to do this question, we should first consider which pieces of information from the question are relevant and also think about how they could potentially help us reach our final answer. So what we're given is we're given the mass of the alkali earth containing ionic compound and the number of moles of nitric acid that are required to fully react that amount of ionic compound. The fact that the substance when reacted with nitric acid produces carbon dioxide hints at the ionic compound being a carbonate because we know that acids and carbonates will react to form carbon dioxide as a byproduct. So assuming that our substance is a carbonate, we can say that its general formula would be MCO3 where M is the suspected metal. Writing an equation between the ionic compound and nitric acid, we get MCO3 solid plus HNO3, which is nitric acid, aqueous, produces MNO32 plus H2O water plus CO2 gas. To balance this equation, we simply need to add a 2 in front of the HNO3. So what we can see from the equation is that the ratio of the carbonate compound to nitric acid is going to be 1 to 2. Since the number of moles of nitric acid required is equal to 0 0.0800, we know that the number of moles of this carbonate must equal half of this, which is 0 0.0400. This means that N equals to 0 0.0400 is also equal to 4.00 grams. Continuing from our working out, since the number of moles being 0 0.0400 equals to 4 grams, that molar mass, the molar mass is therefore going to equal to 4.00 divided by 0 0.0400, and that is going to equal to 100 grams per mole. Looking at our suspected compound formula, MCO3, of the 100 grams, a certain amount of it is going to be contributed to by the carbonate. So the molar mass of the carbonate is equal to 12.01, which is the molar mass of carbon, plus 16, which is the molar mass of oxygen, times 3, and that equals to 60.01 grams per mole. The carbonate has a molar mass of 60.01 grams per mole. The molar mass of the metal is going to equal to 100 minus 60.01, which equals to 39.99 grams per mole.
Looking at the periodic table, we see that this value aligns pretty closely with the molar mass of the alkali earth metal calcium, which equals to 40.08 grams per mole. Therefore, the formula would be CaCO3 for the compound, and the molar mass would be equal to 60.01, which was the molar mass of carbonate, plus 40.08, which is the molar mass of calcium, and that is going to equal to 100. 0.09 grams per mole. A 2.860 gram sample of an unknown metal carbonate, MCO3, is reacted with excess hydrochloric acid, HCl. The reaction produces carbon dioxide, CO2, water, H2O, and a metal chloride, MCl2. The balanced chemical equation for that reaction is given as MCO3 plus 2HCl forms MCO2 aqueous and H2O and CO2. The carbon dioxide gas produced is collected and found to have a mass of 1.100 grams. Identify the unknown metal M. So when we're doing this question, we should think about what sort of information is given to us. So the first thing that's given to us is the mass of carbon dioxide CO2 is equal to 1.100 grams. And that was given to us in the question over here. From here, we can work out the number of moles of carbon dioxide. And the reason we might want to do this is because the number of moles of carbon dioxide, according to the stoichiometric ratio of the equation, should be in a one-to-one -one ratio with the number of moles of MCO3. So the number of moles of carbon dioxide produced is equal to 1.100 divided by the molar mass of CO2, which is 12.01 plus 16 times 2 is equal to 0.025 moles. As previously mentioned, the number of moles of MCO3 must be equal to the number of moles of CO2 because they are in a one-to-one -one stoichiometric ratio. So the number of moles of MCO3 is equal to the number of moles of CO2. And that's equal to 0.025. Since we know that there are 0.025 moles of MCO3, this must be equivalent to the total mass of the carbonate, which is 2.860 grams. So I'll write moles here, just for clarification. So 0.025 moles of MCO3 is equal to 2.86 grams. Since we know the number of moles, and we know the mass of that number of moles, we can rearrange this to find the molar mass of our substance because we know that molar mass equals to mass divided by number of moles. So molar mass mm of MCO3 is going to be equal to 2.860 divided by 0 0.025, 0 0.025, which is going to equal to 114.426 grams per mole. Now that we have the molar mass of this whole molecule, we can work out the molar mass of M by subtracting the molar mass of the carbonate ion from this molar mass. So the molar mass of M is going to be equal to 114.426 minus the molar mass of CO3, which is 12.01 plus 16 times 3. And that is going to give us a value of 54.426, and that's grams per mole. According to the data sheet, the metal manganese has the closest molar mass to 54.426 grams per mole, and therefore the unknown metal M is the metal manganese. Hey everyone, if you found this video helpful, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Want even more? Become a Patreon member for early access to videos, exclusive Discord discussions about questions on chemistry and physics, and live preparation sessions for your exams. Don't forget to head over to our website for topic tests and practice exams to further improve your understanding and learning.